Hey guys, it is Cheesy here, and today I'm bringing you a video on Overwatch. Being a fan of shooter games, I picked up this game. However, when I loaded it up, I realized that this was a lot different from anything I'd ever seen. Having console and PC experience in Battlefield, CSGO, Call of Duty, and Dirty Bomb, just to name a few, I figured I'd be okay to just hop right in, but I was wrong. So, in this video, I'll show you guys some of the things that helped me as a primarily military shooter player in Overwatch. Obviously, Overwatch is still a shooter, but there are a lot of elements that can be new to players like me, especially if you are strictly a console gamer. I've come up with five tips that can help out a player transitioning into Overwatch or someone new to first-person shooters entirely. My first tip for you guys is to use Soldier 76. He is one of the 21 characters in Overwatch and, in my opinion, is one of the easiest and most well-rounded heroes in the game. You can see me playing as him here in the gameplay, and because of his all-around play, he's a good choice for someone trans transitioning into Overwatch, uh, and in my opinion at least. So his primary weapon is a fully automatic rifle. It doesn't do too much damage, but it has a high fire rate and is a basic gun that pretty much anyone can pick up and use. His main ability is a tactical visor, which is essentially aimbot, which can be nice. And he also has a deployable biotic field health station that gives you health when you're low and heals teammates around you. And he also has a Helix Rocket Grenade Launcher, which it can come in really handy. So in your first few matches online in Overwatch, you may want to stick to Soldier 76 so that you learn the maps and the flow of the game before trying out some other heroes. My next tip for you guys is to combine abilities. Abilities are very important in Overwatch, and they're really at times essential to winning a game. With Soldier 76, I found myself constantly using my biotic field to heal myself and nearby teammates, and when I came to my gun, I almost never finished off an enemy at full health with just bullets. I usually put my enemy to maybe half health, and then finish them off with my helix rockets. One thing that might be new to some players is that there is no aiming down sight in Overwatch. The button that you would usually press to aim down sights, on P which on PC in my case is the right mouse button, and on console like Xbox is left trigger. Uh, this button is your secondary fire mode, which in Soldier 76's case is Helix Rockets. So, while you need to maybe get used to not aiming down sight, you can easily combine abilities such as, uh, once again, in Soldier 76's case, bullets and uh, rockets. But yeah, you can easily combine these abilities and other things to get your kills. Movement is key in Overwatch, so that's why my next tip for you guys is to utilize movement. There are a lot of abilities which lock onto you and can be really hard to shake. And so that is just another thing that makes movement so important. Uh, one of the reasons I like Tracer so much is that she can literally blink away from things in literally, like a, in an instant. And so while other players can only sprint away, and even if it is just sprinting, I found that moving unpredictably and erratically gave me much more time and space to work. My second last tip for you guys is to stick with your teammates. You should always be with at least one other player on your team because going solo and running into a group of enemies is a sure way to get yourself killed and I have found myself dying a lot uh, due to just leaving my teammates. Uh, most characters have abilities that are designed for helping teammates too, so when you're with your team, a lot less can go wrong with than without them. My last tip for you guys is a small one, but it is pretty important. It is to take advantage of the low recoil on guns. In almost every FPS, guns have noticeable recoil. In Overwatch, however, there is barely any. Tracer's dual pistols, as you see here, and Soldier 76's rifle especially have very good accuracy and almost no penalty when it comes to shooting. So, essentially, don't be afraid to hold down your trigger and spray. So, that is pretty much it, guys. I hope this helps. This made me a bit of a better player, but I still have a lot to figure out. But these tips will definitely give you an advantage when you start out. Thank you guys for watching, and if you want to see more Overwatch content like this, feel free to subscribe, and if you're a fan of Battlefield, make sure to check out my other videos. If you are a subscriber of mine, you may have realized that my audio sounds quite a bit better, and that is because of my friend who lent me his mic. So big shout out to my friend Jason for giving me this sick mic. Also guys, don't forget to leave a like or drop a comment, but for now, I will see you guys later. Bye.